Wow. I mean, 65 to 7. Largest championship blowout in college football history. I mean, I knew Georgia was going to win big. Even Vegas knew this game was not going to be very competitive. But I'll be honest. I wasn't expecting them to win by 58 points. I mean, man, Georgia almost put up 40 at halftime. Now, when you ask around, people have all these different reasons and big, deep, well-thought-out explanations to what happened, but I'm going to keep it simple. Georgia was just flat-out better. I mean, we can rewind and just look at the first drives for both teams. TCU, three and out. Georgia scores with a 21-yard touchdown with Statavius in less than three minutes on the drive. Then the next drive, TCU fumbles. Georgia gets it, kicks a field goal. Before you blink your eye, it's 10 to 0. Now, I will say TCU answered, had us fooled. Max Duggan, read option. They score on the goal line. It's 10 to 7. So for a split second, I did think, okay, well, Maybe TCU came to play. Long story short, Georgia scores 55 unanswered point, and the final score, like I mentioned, is 65 to 7. But man, Stetson Bennett was electric. I honestly thought Georgia's O-line and the running backs for UGA would be what would dominate the game ultimately against that 3-3-5 against TCU. No, it, it was Stetson. 18 for 25, 304 yards, four passing touchdowns, no picks. He also averaged 13 yards a game with his legs and two more rushing touchdowns. Gave him six for the game. Obviously the MVP. Now I'll be honest, Bennett has impressed me more than ever this year specifically. I wasn't too high on him last season, even after they beat Bama in the national championship. I discredited him. I felt like he was just riding the wave. I was actually upset he returned for what felt like his ninth year in college football. But I have to give it to him. Starting with the opening blowout win against Oregon throughout the season and then to cap it all off with the straight ass whooping they applied to TCU. This man was more than just a glorified game manager just riding the wave on a really good team. He could really play the quarterback position. Georgia was simply better in every phase of the game against TCU. Now, I will say the SEC once again takes another trophy to their conference. Since 2014, when the college football playoff era began, the SEC has now won six times. Georgia is also the first school to repeat in the college football playoff era and they're also the first school to repeat since Bama back in 11 and 12. So I think the next question is, what's next for Georgia? Well, Stetson Bennett's finally now out of eligibility. I think that former four-star recruit Carson Beck is the early favorite to win the QB spot. He'll be a redshirt junior next year in 2023. But definitely, I think Brock Brandegriff has something to say about it, former five-star recruit. I personally think he could win out because he fits more of the mold of the offensive coordinator Todd Munkin's scheme overall, being that he is a dual threat, Brock Dandegrip. On offense, they'll be returning sensation and next year's number one tight end, I'll predict. Brock Bowers will be a junior. And then also be on the lookout for running back Branson Robinson going into his sophomore year showed some flashes all throughout the season and when he got the ball even in the championship game he got to work for sure defense mvp javon bullard and smile menden i probably mispronounced that we're making plays all over the field in the championship game they're some of the top returners for next year and then in addition to others that are returning and then uga let's be honest they always reload with top five recruiting classes year after year. I'd say it's looking pretty bright still. Even after back-to-back -back titles for Georgia, the future, man, this could really be a dynasty that we could be witnessing. All in all, big shout out to Kirby Smart, the rest of his staff since taking over after 2016, they've been nothing but excellent. 
this was definitely a fun year of college football overall. I'm looking forward to the off season, and then of course in the fall once the season kicks off. But hey, that's all I have to say. Just wanted to reflect on Georgia's demolition over TCU, and overall what's to come in the near future. But hey, if you made it this far, I definitely appreciate it. If you haven't already, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe for more content, and also, what are your thoughts? Did you expect a blowout or did you imagine a close competitive game? Like I mentioned earlier, I knew it was going to be uh, pretty much butt kicking, but I didn't expect 65 to 7. So I want to hear your opinions below. Also be on the lookout for more videos in the future. If you love football, go ahead and join the squad, join the family. But other than that, y'all have a great day. I'll see y'all in the next video. Cheek!